Hi there. Um, this website here is a WordPress installation uh, with WooCommerce shop. And uh, what we're going to look at very quickly here is um, in any WordPress installation, there is the possibility of putting content in the footer. And um, this theme allows us to put four um, areas of content in the footer. What we're going to do is just show you how to go there and edit the stuff that's in there. Um, what we'll do is go to our main dashboard. We go down here to Appearance and we click on Widgets. The widgets are those bits and pieces that sit in sidebars and in the footer and that kind of thing. Um, we simply go to here in the footer. We've got four sidebars in the footer, uh, which we saw over here. One, two, three, four. And we'll just edit the content in there. We'll just go like this. And in here, the first footer sidebar has a couple of text areas in it. The first one is a search box, which we put in before, which is a separate plugin. Worry about that right now. And in here we've got contact details. Um, when we're editing, we, we are using HTML here. Uh, all these, these these fields will take in HTML, and if you want to have a, a line break in between lines, you've got to actually put the uh, the tag in, which says put a break in here. Otherwise, the text will just flow on from line to line. Um, but basically, you can put what you like in here. Just don't forget to put the uh, copy and paste these break break uh, tags wherever you want to have a space between the content. You can see that here in between um, these bits of content here, there's a, a line in between and that's the space that we've created. If we put a single break tag in there, those gaps, the, 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 the gaps between these uh, lines won't appear. They'll be a separate lines but there won't be any gap between them. You can see gaps here as well. Uh, so that's that's how that works. Um, that's about it. We've got a couple of other sidebars here. Go in there, and we can also edit this particular one. Well, there's a different plugin which allows us to actually um, edit directly in a WYSIWYG. You can see all the different things that we can do here. Um, but I'll do a separate, I'll do the next, um, uh, the next video will be about this particular plugin. It's quite cool. It means that when you're working in the WYSIWYG, you don't have to, you don't have to know HTML, you can actually come and do it yourself and do something rather like you would do in Microsoft Word or something like that. But anyway, that's where you go to edit the stuff that's in the sidebars and the footer areas of your website, WordPress website.